hypotension. Some patients don't know that they can actually suffer hypotension. It's also an emergency because most times some people don't really know what it entails. So they, when you ask them, when was the last time you checked your BP, they be like, ah, check my BP. I don't check my BP, my BP because I don't have high blood pressure. They don't know that they can also have uh, something they call high potential, which is low blood pressure. So when you observe, so maybe you're feeling like you're feeling dizzy, you're feeling like you want to faint, you're feeling like, ah, I'm very tired, you're feeling some lightheadedness, you're feeling sleeplessness, you're maybe having some confusion, and you're having maybe weakness, nausea, vomiting, and you're not feeling yourself anymore. You need to check your BP. This, you're supposed to do that so that you can know what your BP is all about. If your BP is low, this is not the time for you to start taking alcohol. Avoid anything alcohol. Avoid any caffeinated, caffeinated drink. What you need to do is to take sodium, that salt, inside water. You can put, get water, put salt inside and drink. It will help you to boost your your blood pressure back to the normal. So once you observe those things, you need to hurriedly go check your BP. And if they check your BP and it is below the normal range, which is, if it is below 90 over 60 millimeter mercury, please, once if, if it's below that, that is when you need to start doing the, the first aid I talked about by putting salt in water, and drinking and also take a lot of rest because some persons if you allow them to walk around the clock they don't know this body can actually get tired so when you observe that just take a good rest this is not that is not the time for you to start maybe oh let me go to the gym and do some exercise and the rest of them yes you need to do exercise but you don't need to do strenuous exercises because it can also affect you so many things can cause someone's BP to go low like I said, stress. It can cause it to go low. Um, if, you're, if you're bleeding, if you're dehydrated, it can cause somebody's BP to go low. Sometimes even pregnancy. Some persons, when you see there's some mothers, when they're pregnant, they have, their BP is always below their normal BP. So, so many things can make you have hypertension. So when you observe you're having hypertension, you need to rest. You need to know what the cause is. If you're stressed, you rest. If you're not taking enough water, you take enough water. If you're bleeding, you go to you stop the bleeding maybe by going to the hospital to, to take care of yourself. Or maybe if it's something you can manage at home, you do some first aid on the on the injury so that you don't bleed. And if you take a lot of alcohol, this is the time for you to stop that if you know you're having hypertension. So these are the things we need to discuss for now. So we're going to see some other time. For the meantime, thank you for listening. And God bless you. Jesus name. Amen.